Welcome to another episode of Sherwood Forest. Out. Sherwood Forest. Oh, okay. I get it, cause he's uh, he's, he's got the Sherwood bow and the Forest. arrow. Yeah, man. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Finally, a uh, new Mez Mezco one twelve collective uh, collective um, figure, and uh, I'm I, I was very excited to get this. Yes, you were and, very uh, much. Yeah, and uh, thanks to Motor City Toy Store. Thanks, Nick. I sort of. I sort of, you know, had him leave it out on the porch for me so I can, like, do a drive-by and grab it so I can get it soon. Shady with the toys. It, it, it was shady. It, it was shady. Yeah. I was like, it was like going to the porch and sneak and grab and, and got a green arrow. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting because uh, so far, first of all, Mezco, we had so many toys that, like, were delayed. So I don't even know what their schedule is. This one just sort of popped popped out. Didn't even really know this was the next one. I thought I was kind of thinking Batman vs Superman would have been would have been next. But here is Green Arrow, and uh, this is not the show Green Arrow. This no, would be the comic book. I think yeah. Well, I don't know what book it's from, but me neither. You know you know. Well, what? that's a good thing because the show Green Arrow. I, I don't dig the show. Like I'm but only I don't watch I'm it. only on the second season, and his outfit is like. But you but you like the show, right? Yeah, I, like I like it, like Highlander. Okay. I mean, like it's not like I'm I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, oh my god, you right, gotta watch right. But I mean it's on Netflix. Were well, you're bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you it. know what? It's like, okay, why not? All right. Uh, CW I'll, fifty or whatever, why not, man? I won't bust your chops too bad, hey, but those I know what it is. Those DC yeah, okay, you know what it is. I know those, what it is. Those oh, DC yeah. TV shows though, like just they are pretty pretty corny, like soap opera. But... Yeah, it's like it's for a thirteen year old girl. <laughs> right, like right. I'll give it that, but you know what? I'm not above it. Yeah. Dave you know? loves the flash. He's like he swears by it. But sweet. Yeah, but you know, you know, I, I actually watched he the first was just couple. In it. I just saw one he was in it. Dave was in the flash? No, the flash was <laughs> at Green Hornet. But it Oh was... Green Arrow? Yeah, that's what oh, I meant. Okay. Green, yeah, Green, right. Green Hornet. Yeah. yeah. And, but he wasn't the Flash yet. Okay. Was sort of cool. Hmm. Was oh, was he Bar not Barry Allen? Yeah, yeah Barry oh, Allen. Interesting. But he, yeah, it's like he didn't even get like he he didn't get hit by lightning. It wasn't okay. lightning. Oh, I was, forget what makes him. Fast. It was pre-speed flash. Pre-speed flash. Gotcha. Yeah, like, gotcha. yeah. My my um my history of uh, Green Arrow. What my knowledge of Green Arrow is Mike Grell, which I think did and superpowers green arrow did mike grell do green arrow back Can't in the answer. day uh, i might be wrong on that he did warlord but green superpowers uh green arrow is how i know him with the goatee you shave off that goatee and it's not green arrow for me I, so green. they got they got the goatee um first thing is first if you if you are new to mezco 112 then we, we got a whole bunch to cover but if if you know Mezco 112, then then we can get right into it. This is, I gotta be honest, it's the first Mezco 112 that sort of feels dollish to me. It's the sissiest one. I mean, <laughs> like it is yeah. uh, because it, it's like he's I don't know his vest. Is it the tight black the zipper spandex? vest and the spandex and the zipper the vest? Zipper. Yeah, it's, it's very, very. It's it's layered. He's very layered with mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. materials. Um, well dressed. He is very, he well, very dressed. well dressed. I I I love how the hood, because uh, I think one of the big things of Green Arrow is a hood. Mm -hmm. It goes up and down, and it's wired, so you can shape it around. Mm -hmm. Like it shapes really well. But I kind of like it, like kind of up, kind of down. Uh, but uh, I love these mascos. Yeah, they're. I, we know you do. Yeah. I gotta, every time you show me these, I sort of get into them. I'm like, I can do it. Yeah. Man, they're, they're. I mean, they're nice. You know. I mean. They're very like they hold their pose. They're heavy, and I mean, they don't blend in. I mean, it's like when I say that, yeah. I mean that, like you put a whole bunch of them on the shelf, like you have, them, right. and they all stand out. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like they look like very cohesive, but they're they're all they've got a lot going on. They definitely have a lot going on. on. They they and the thing is, as I was saying, is this is like the first. DC superhero that they did that isn't related to a movie or a very specific comic like the batman figures batman movies and then they they do the batman dark knight and the dark knight returns is like a very specific mm -hmm. style uh whereas i think and you can correct me if i'm wrong because i don't read current dc comic books this is this is probably just like current green arrow look like standard green arrow look um i really i really like the folds um 
paintwork is spectacular. Like there are like nicks and cuts, like little silver nick and cuts. I think there's good shadow in the face sculpt too. Yeah, I was gonna say I do like his face. A lot. Yeah, it's it's generic enough where it doesn't look like a specific actor or something like that. But it does it does have some personality, and that probably has a lot to do with the goatee. Yeah, I like the goatee, and and he's got the blonde hair. I mean, it's like because I don't know why I remember him looking like this in a comic. Yeah. I don't remember which one. No, not in a comic, in a cartoon. Okay, a uh, the Justice bit. League, maybe, or I think maybe he's in Justice League, and he was like one of the coolest characters in it. I love the superpowers, uh, Green Arrow. Like he totally was the blonde hair. Uh, goatee guy. And, and I like that he's like a B-level hero. Like, yeah, like he's yeah, not going to go up against Batman. But he's now like, he, now, I mean, he's now he might. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. He totally is B-level. Like, I, I remember when I was, I was a big Green Lantern fan and like they had the Green Arrow, Green Lantern book. Yeah. And that was... That was a that was a pretty groundbreaking series for DC because like they tackled issues like heroin abuse and things like that. Like really, remember, yeah, no, was, I never read it. I never read DC ever. Yeah, it was it was a pretty pretty uh, pretty intense series from from what I remember. It's been a long time. Was it a team up or a verse? Cause, it like, was he like wouldn't last too long. Again. Uh, I think it was a team up. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Green <laughs> Green Lantern can be like Green Hammer. And yeah, then just, 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 he's done. Al yeah, Jordan kill that hooker. I think Green Arrow is just like a good archer. Like I don't think he's got like magical powers or or whatnot. I think he's just really good with the bow and arrow. Uh, he comes with I think he comes with a pretty cool bow. Like it's a pretty modern. Like that's a modern bow, right? I guess. Yeah. Man. I mean, I'm a bow expert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is definitely a modern this bow. Is, yeah, you can tell by the uh, non. This is a two X sixty six bow mm -hmm. hunter max. You could get a deer with this. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And he comes with a lot of arrows. Uh, he's got like regular arrows. Like for some reason, I thought he his, his character had like like silly arrows that were like punching. Uh, I think he does. Gloves. It does. He's got weird stuff, okay. man. I'm so glad this figure does not have that because I do not need that. But he does have like you know like grappling hook and like like poison dart. And then this is kind of cool. It looks like I don't know if it's right because I don't read the current comic, but it's like kryptonite oh you know, that's kind of yeah. cool oh, that's kind of cool i like his regular arrows he comes with what do you call a, a group of arrows like a sash oh i know what you call a score a, a score a score i think it's called a score if, if you're right you get you score a, yeah let's nice. let me know in the comments yeah yeah but it goes it fits in here nice it's great like that's the one thing about these mezcos i love is the amount of accessories like other than transforming robots I feel like I get the most for my money when I'm when I get a Mezco because I, I feel like you can do a lot. They, of yeah, them. they really like, do so make it so you can make it your own. You know, like you can like do an original pose. Yeah. And, hey, you know, hell yeah. Yeah, I have not tried to unzip the zipper, but and I have no intention to. You can. I yeah, don't yeah. You too much. Yeah. Man. Okay. Um, the zipper, like, I mean, it's not too big because, like, that's a big concern. Because, I mean, how do you make? Like a small, like that would be. I think the notch on it. I mean, the the, the pole on yeah, it looks a little, little big. big. Yeah, but there's no other way you can really tackle that. Yeah, I that. mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, I think they did it as good as they can. You know. I agree. Uh, there are flaw. There, there are things I I do wish were a little different on this. Um, the biggest being, uh, I don't know how much you play with it. The articulation is a little bit more limited than, than what I remember on some of the other ones. Like it looks like the ankle pivot. Like is that thing getting in the it, way? Yeah, see, I don't know, and I'm scared to like, I'm scared to push it too much because, uh, you know, God forbid I break an eighty-five dollar action figure, and that's another issue is the price. And then like, he has some pretty good like sh shoulder or elbow articulation, but it could be like they won't do ninety. No, they won't do above ninety. No, and I think it's because of these pads and stuff. I kind of mm -hmm. wish he had a little bit more articulation because you know you can pop his bow in his hand and. You can get some pretty sweet po poses. Like, what's pretty nice is uh, he's got multitudes of hands. Does he have a pulled back bow? Yes. Oh, that's oh, sweet. shoot. Um, it's cool because if you, you, but you have to like, you definitely have to like mess around with all the different hands. Like, you have yeah, to. Yeah, I'll bet it's hard to figure out which yeah. one. Yeah. To do when he holds the right, arrow like, with the bow. And, oops, yeah, sorry, like man. you have to position it. Like sorry. it's it's not like you're gonna you're you're gonna have to spend some time with it. But like these are like the little two fingers, and you put it on the other hand, and then you put the oh, bow. It in literally it. pulls. Oh yeah, that. oh yeah, yeah. You'll get some sweet. Oh, that's insane. You'll get some sweet posing. Like I, 
I spent a good two hours last night posing and playing with my action figure. Uh, and that's what I action do. Action doll. Action yeah. doll. Um, so and then okay. the more, the, you know what the thing is, is when I first take, took it out of the package, my first impression was like, oh, this one looks a little, little dollish. But then after, after messing with it a lot more, I was like, all right, I just keep the weapons in his hand. Just keep, yeah, keep a weapon right, in right. his hand. Right, you know. right. It's like, yeah. Get through it. Um, mm -hmm. to the box, which, you know, you're supposed to start with, but, uh, it's classy as ever. Like these boxes are really classy. Like, I mean, they're just classy boxes. And, uh, sure, yeah. I, I, Dude, I like the window box. Yeah, that's sweet. Sweet. It's classy. It comes with everything you need. Um, just like all the other Mezcos, they come with the, the, um, flight stand. And to do that, you just, you just pop this peg out and then put it in and then you can get him like flying Fly with the arrow air, so he's like so he's like uh what's... what do people really do that i would with like batman or like a superman would be cool um i did try it with green arrow for because it's fun yeah but like he probably is not the character that like you're going to keep him in a flight pose um it's interesting because the Mezco line is just starting to sort of form now. It's starting to get enough where, where you got a collection. But other than the three Star Trek guys and the two Batman vs. Superman figures, there's there's no cohesive collection. Like, it's just cool. Yeah, it's just stuff from here and there, mm -hmm. you know? Do you think they'll actually start to... Uh... What, uh... Build collections? Yeah, like build, yeah. like, oh, we want well, to get something to go with him, something to go with him. I think so. Um, they're doing like a set of like the Ghostbusters uh, original movie guys. That's kind of cool. That's cool, but oh, that's gonna. I, you know what? I I've been a bit a bit Ghostbustered out. So, but I think the concept is cool. I want to see more movie characters. I really mm. do. Like if they came out with something, obviously I, I constantly bitch about wanting Blade Runner figures. That I would, would be sweet. That would be sweet. Um, but. I, I am very excited for what they're coming out with. Um, they're coming out with a, a, a comic book Deadpool. The, the Punisher, I can't wait for Punisher. Yeah, that'll be sweet. I'm supposedly supposed to get a Daredevil today, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I mean, am I in it? I mean, I think I'm still yeah, in it. Yeah, you seem like you're in it to win it. Yeah, I, I moved him into the lit showcase, yep. so that's that's a big sign. They should do a Carl Urban, Judge Dredd. I would love that. That would be I sweet. would love that. i got to be honest with you, that would be on my top ten, probably. You know what I hate to say would also be sweet? Please. is a slide. A slide? A slide. Sure, Judge but from Dredd. which... From Judge Dredd. Yeah, I think oh, he okay. looks cool. I mean, it's it's a, it's not if the greatest gonna, movie, but no, it isn't. the design in it is If sweet. you're going to do that, then just do Demolition Man. Because it wasn't Demolition Man just like a better version of Judge Dredd. I don't know. I actually... I'm you like, like Judge Dredd better? Yeah, a little bit. I like it. Like, Rob, I love Demolition Man, too. Yeah, Rob Schneider kind of... Uh, he wrecked that movie. Kind of wrecked I mean, Judge Dredd. Yeah, it's sort of like, if you're going to make Judge Dredd a kid's movie, yeah. you know, like it, it's sort of shocking. It's a fun movie, yeah. but like... But uh, Carl Urban's Dread is, is awesome. I'd love to see more. Um, uh, again, I put I put my Mezco figures every time I get them up against some of my other figures. And there is a space for all kinds of action figures in this world. There's plenty of room in the world for different action figures of different sizes and shapes and colors. But I look at the Mezcos and they're just... there's They do feel... Uh, a little a cut above the rest. Uh, there's something special. Will about you them. eventually have to sw switch stands for them? What do you mean? Like get something smaller? Because I mean, look at all that real I, estate. I agree. I that mean, is so ton. limited. It's a good point. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Six, twelve on a shelf. Yeah, there's but, no other way to do it. But really. you can't really because I think the I think the bases. It does sort of add a lot. Yeah, it's got them. a lot of personality to it. So. And and to give you to be honest with you, and this is this is total just rationalizing, it gives them the space that they deserve. So you don't yeah. cram them because I think if you cram them on a shelf, uh, they just kind of look then like then they look like everything else. Right, you know? right. So this gives them the perfect amount of space. Some idiot needs to come up with a glass lit glass jar. That oh man, around. couldn't you? I mean, couldn't you go to like Michaels and get sure something? Make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're special. Um, this is no different. The articulation is, is definitely the weak weak point of this. Like 
it is kind of a bummer that I can't get more articulation from him. And that would be that would be the biggest negative. Uh, he's got a lot of layers. He's got a lot of good paint job. It's 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 it is top notch quality. So if you're into the Mezcos, you won't be disappointed. If you're not into the Mezcos, I'll be honest with you. If you like the character Green Arrow, yeah, get this is a good place to start. Yeah, I mean these are really definitive figures. For I agree. Every character they make. I mean it's a, they're at least as good as the Hot Toys. I, I, you know, I gotta be honest with you, the only Hot Toys I've ever handled is the Optimus Prime, and that really doesn't count as a Hot Toys, because it, it's not... Yeah, that's like its own yeah. thing, you know? They are. They're, they're, they are, they're, mi they're miniature masterpieces, yeah. um, and I think they're great. And, uh, I again, uh, MotorCityToyStore.com, stocking these. I think they retail for about 80 85 bucks, and they are... They are very much worth it, but I fear that um, they're going to be all become a hundred bucks retail soon. And if that starts to happen, I, I'm going to have to. Do you think if the line goes big, it will? I Why do. would it go up in money? Well, because yeah, because more be. people want them. I mean, they are high quality. I just, I just, I don't want to pay hundred dollars and for an action figure. And they're all, they're all coming out at once now, like because they they got really behind, and now they're pushing them all out. So I'm constantly like getting like uh, a text like, "Hey, new new Mezco, you know, in a couple days," and I'm excited, but they're you know, domestic, right? Yes, which is good, which is good for for people in the U.S. How domestic. much are the real nice like um, figure oh, arts? Not those, but they all the they have all the DC characters. Are they uh, play arts? Kai, maybe? I mean, there is Play Arts Kai, but that's like, yeah, the stylized. The yeah, real, how much yeah. are those? those? Those are about 120 bucks, man. Yeah, oh, maybe even wow. more. Okay. Th those really went up. Those aren't my thing. Like, they, Me either. They're not Me my either, thing. But, but I, I think that they're really high quality. And for those people who who like that, they're, they're good toys. This is not my This thing. is 85 bucks. You got to keep it at 85 bucks. I think so. If not, you're gouging I, people. I think, and... I think if they could take it back down to 70 where they started, I think... I think I'd be a little happier, but, um, yeah, I mean, high recommendation, uh, very fun to play with. I look forward to the mo to, to more. Um, I, I'm supposed to get Daredevil today. I would try to get a review up, but I'm going to Nashville, Tennessee on Monday with the, with the lady. That's sweet. Um, and what? He, uh, we're going on vacation. We're leaving the kids behind and we're going nice. to Nashville. I've never, I've never been to that, to Nashville. Sounds like fun. How far is it? Uh, Graceland. About, yeah. No, no. Graceland is, uh, Memphis. Yeah, but it's still in Tennessee. Oh, yeah, but we're going to Nashville, like you know Johnny Cash and Opry, uh, the the Grand Ole Opry. Um, if if That's anyone sweet. out there is familiar with Nashville, tell me if there's any cool like toy comic shops to go visit. Um, I'd I'd love to know. I I tried to look it up and I like found like Rick's Comics and that didn't you know didn't sound that promising. So Nashville, Tennessee. So uh, that's going to just give you a heads up. Have no reviews for a week. But uh, I'm going to have fun. Any other comments? Anything? Yeah, get it. Sweet. There you go. Uh, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, nerd, nerd out! Come over, Brian, and touch my clothes.